Hey hey, today we will show you how to make a very loud Bluetooth speaker boombox. It will be very easy and you'll definitely stand out on the beach with your custom homemade portable speaker. Last time we showed you what components were used. But if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out before you continue watching this one. Let's get to it. The original idea was to put all four speakers just like in this drawing. But we realized that the boombox would be too big, so that's why we placed speakers closer to each other thus saving space and making the boombox more compact. Because these Visa 10 BG17 full-range speakers have a significant drop below 100Hz, the speaker box will also be tuned to around 100-120Hz. In this graph the green curve. These Visa 10 speakers have high sensitivity and a single speaker with 1 watt of power can deliver 93 decibels. Four such speakers with same power can deliver around 99 decibels. And with 10-15 watts of power, it will be around 110 decibels for a portable speaker. Now let's move to the tech screw speaker factory. Here are the marked speaker locations that need to be cut out. We'll use a wooden router for this. It should be the fastest and most accurate. But first we need to cut off the excess length, as we don't need such long boombox. Here's the first speaker hole cut out. It looks nice compared to the speaker holes we used to cut out with Jigsaw. Oh nice, fits perfectly. The remaining three holes have to be cut out in the same way. Also cut the back, top and bottom panels to the appropriate length, so that we can put together the boombox enclosure. This will be the first speaker project where the front panel will be slightly deeper into the box. This is because the chosen speakers have paper tweeters and we don't want to damage them. In front of the speakers there will be a custom made speaker grills. The front panel will be 2 cm deeper, then all we need to do is screw together the whole box. As this is not going to be a potato box, it is essential that it's properly sealed. So apply glue on our joints and screw the box together. The whole process will take a lot of time, but after screwing the box together, it will give you an idea of the true size of the boombox. It already looks impressive. It is also essential to use a wooden putty to cover all the screw holes. We still don't have anyone skilled in carpentry, so it will take several grinding and filling rounds to finish. Then make a hole in the right or left side of the box for the base reflex port. We use 70mm sewer pipe. This is more than enough for full range speakers. Glue it in and plug out the excess holes and uneven spots. Then sand and apply putty on surfaces where needed. After that, cut a hole in the back of the boombox where the battery holder will be mounted. Cut the wooden slats into sections so that you can make a speaker mesh frame. Glue them together to make a strong frame. The box is ready. All you need to do is clean it of dust and dirt so you can paint it. We wash the box with damp cloth. Once the box is dry we can start painting. We suggest using a roller, it's quicker. We've painted with black water resistant paint. Remember that for the best results you need to paint at least two layers. While the paint is drying, let's make insulating rubbers to put under the speakers, so that no air comes out of it because the box must be closed. Here's the result, the king of the beach. It looks very powerful. Don't forget to paint the speaker grill frame too, otherwise it will shine through the protective fabric. The speaker box can now be safely taken to the tech crew office, where we will have to put all these things into the box, so that we can finally get this bad boy working. For extra safety, we put two heat sinks on the LAN card module, because the little chips were kind of warm after the tests in the first video. Now we screw in the Arilic amplifier board, but do it on spaces for better cooling of the board, and also air circulation underneath. Then install the on and off switch. Here our carpentry skill check failed. It's a good thing that we'll insulate everything with hot glue to prevent air from getting through. Glue wireless and Wi-Fi antennas on the side panel to improve reception. Then prepare and connect the amplifier board speaker terminal wires that will connect all four speakers. The speakers will be connected in parallel, two per channel. After that it's necessary to assemble the battery pack. A total of 6 pieces of 18650 battery cells will be used, connected in series, which will ensure that we can get all the power from the Arilic amplifier board. Also, the battery pack is soldered to a 5.5 x 2.5 mm cord, so that the battery can be connected to amplifier. We also have to connect a USB cord to the amplifier board, so that we can make a digital sound correction by connecting computer to the board. With hot glue, cover the contacts and wires that can move and make unwanted noises. Take natural cotton and make a small cushion out of it. The natural cotton absorbs the pressure of the box and slightly improves the sound. Put the newly created battery pack in the back of the box. Secure the USB cable with hot glue to prevent it from falling out. 
also glue a cotton bag somewhere in the free space. Since we can see insides of the base reflex port, glue a foam barrier at least at diameter in front of the base reflex port. Also glue a piece of foam near the end of the port to support it, so that it does not vibrate unnecessarily. Use adhesive tape to cover the gaps around the battery pack so that the hot glue does not leak out, but make sure it forms a sealed seam. Whoopsie daisy, forgot to make a wire that should be connected to the on-off switch. Don't make the same mistake and do it right now while it's not too late. Then cover everything with hot glue so that no air gets through. Then add four rubber feet to the bone box so that it can be placed on the ground in a nice and comfortable way. Then attach a handle so that we can actually comfortably carry it around and tie out our arms. After that let's attach the wires to our speakers. And also let's not forget about the insulation rings for all of them. And of course let's screw them in. Not gonna lie, it keeps getting more powerful. Now we need to cover the speaker grill with fabric. We'll be doing this for the first time, so expect some fails. To do this you'll need various tools like double sided tape and of course the speaker cover fabric. Before you lay out the fabric, cover all the corners of the mesh with insulating tape, as we will put hot glue in these corners, which will strengthen the mesh. Apply double sided tape around the edges of the frame, then peel off the protection tape and slowly lay the mesh on top, but slightly stretch the mesh fabric to make it more rigid. Then attach the edge with a stapler. Cut off the excess fabric and staple them. The corner should be folded just like a gift wrap. By gluing one edge I slightly damaged the look of the mesh, but overall it's nice, much better than without it. The mesh on the boombox was supposed to be fixed with pins, but this ruined the already applied fabric. Pins should have been fixed before applying the fabric. So this is fail number two. That's why we'll secure the mesh with hook and loop tape. Let's put one part on the speaker edge and the other part to the mesh frame. Nice. The mesh is not meant to be taken off every day, so we can chill about it. Looks good. Now a little sound demo and then I'll review. <laughs> Well, it sounds impressive. You can feel the drums in your chest and not just hear them. Well, yeah, there is not much bass here, but the goal was to make a very loud boombox. And this Bluetooth speaker absolutely nails it. It has a great sound kick. If you're interested in big bass, you should check out our project from last year, where we made a 2.1 portable Bluetooth speaker. This custom built boombox still needs a lot of work. The battery cover needs to be put on, have to add an LED indicator so that we can see boombox is on could also make a charging socket and other useful things. Write in the comments what would you improve for this boombox. In the next video, we will do a full sound and bass test against some JBL speakers. But for now, let's go to the beach, or if we think about it, maybe not this season. Let's go somewhere else. We will appreciate if you liked this and subscribed. Thank you and good luck.